Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, today's the day. It's time to unveil our um, Forest Service truck. So I'm going to go ahead and unveil and show you what it looks like after all the work has been done to it. We put the stickers and the decals off camera because it was a lot of work and um, some of the decals are wire sliding and they were kind of a pain in the butt to put on. So I think it took up way too much time just trying to figure it out on camera. So. Went ahead and do it, <clears throat> get it off camera, and we got it all put together and finalized. And then I'm gonna explain to you guys how I get everything. Basically, that's what's gonna happen. Anyway, but well, here we go. Three, two, one. There she is. All set and done. Our Forest Service K5 Blazer. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. Get a little closer to it. Put it up here. So yeah, here's the way. Here's the side view. Like I mentioned, the Forest Service sticker and the uh, license plate stickers are both, um, they're wire slide stickers, so they were kind of a pain in the butt to put on. Now, the K5 logo, the light here, and the Cheyenne are just regular stickers, so those are pretty easy. Just um, stick it up and put it in the truck, pretty much. Anyway, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> Fully completed and ready to go. We went with the white bumper to make it more governmental looking. And it also matches the cab, of course, and the rims. So we kind of uh, came all together and this is what the final product looks like. Now the grill over here is coming towards you. We painted it, we left part of it black because the actual slider that goes into the truck where the girl goes is black so we went ahead and painted like a part that was not um <clears throat> yeah it didn't have to be black we covered the black part in the grill part specifically and we painted all around the rest of the same color of the truck that helped uh keep the grill dark that way it would look a little better after it was done there is an interior in there i don't know if you can tell but it's, there's a back seat and there's a front seat i mentioned this in the build video earlier uh one of the other our previous video where i was putting it together that there's a front interior with a rear bank seat of a truck upgrade so far nothing much all you did so far you guys seen already or haven't seen uh, we put the um brass uh black trio portal axle covers give it a little weight down low other than that we haven't really done anything particular to this vehicle it's pretty much as is since we got it the only problem the only thing we did was uh we had to wait on a new um esc because the first esc burnt from a section and it would it wouldn't run the motor so basically um we ordered a motor and an esc combo and uh, t we tested out the motor first and realized that it wasn't the motor that was burnt. Okay, actually, that part of the ESC where the motor goes plugged in got burnt out or, or short circuited it at some point in one of the videos I did with it. And uh, it stopped working. So we had to wait a little bit to um, get all that taken care of. Everything now is functional and working. All I left to do is add a light kit. Uh, but that'll come soon. Uh, I probably won't get a video on that, but uh, I mean, I probably will. But right at this point, we're gonna run it as is. Running video will be coming here in the next couple of days, tomorrow, probably uh, Saturday. And as for our Groovy van over here, our Scooby Doo van, uh, running video, uh, this one coming as well. I know upgrades have been done to this one. The only thing that's different right now are the wheels and tires. We uh, added the uh, Insura Deep Dish Wagon Wheels with the uh, Goodyear Wrangler um, Mud Terrain tires. Um, we haven't received the orange um, rims that I ordered for it yet from Insura. We're still waiting on that. And uh, and the, we're going uh, to put some larger tires when the rims arrive. So for now, this one I have on. We might run it like this with these black rims because I haven't received the other rims yet. But if we do receive the rims either today or tomorrow before I do the video, I'll swap out the uh, rims and put the orange rims on with the uh, larger diameter wheels and tires. Other than that, that's all I want to show you guys. I want to unveil our blazer here, our uh, main event basically. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Turned out really nice. Uh, we put some work into it. 
uh, we messed with the paint a little bit, but we finally, you know, worked around it and got it to look really nice. We did a little bit of um, wet sanding and whatnot to get the paint a little more even because the first time we painted it, there was a lot of um, little tiny bubbles everywhere, so we had to um, use the uh, wet sand and remove all the bubbles and repaint again. So it turned out like this. There's a tiny little bit of bubbles in there, you could barely see it, but it definitely looks a lot better than it was when we first painted it. Yeah, that's what, that's what it looks like, and uh, yeah, running video coming soon. If I want to show you what it looks like, um, right out right after we're done with it. And I uh, just want to thank you guys for coming in and check, checking this quick review out. And I uh, want to thank you guys for supporting the channel and coming in every time I do something, check things out. And I uh, just want to thank you all for that. Like, subscribe, and uh, running video will be coming here tomorrow or next day. Thank you guys. Have a good one.